kids, you know what? You never know when there's gonna be someone out there that is gonna make you flinch. They're gonna just shock you and they're gonna make you flinch. But do you wanna know something? We serve an all powerful God and we can trust God all the time. That's our theme today for today's lesson. We can trust God all the time. Can you say that with me? We can trust God all the time. That helps us stay calm and confident and feel peace when scary things happen or when we have to flinch. It's exactly what happens with the hero today in today's story. The circumstances, the circumstances of this story are scarier than you could ever imagine. I sure hope you know how to swim. I'm sure all my helpers know how to swim but I sure hope you know how to swim as you focus on this and try to figure this out. Our hero trusts in God, so just wait and see what happens. Come on. We begin today's passage on board of a ship. Let's create a ship by turning this couch cushion foot rest into a ship. It looks pretty powerful. It probably floats pretty well with all of its gushiness, all of that. Okay, now we're gonna have our pretend passengers board the ship. I have one passenger here on the ship. Hello, passenger. Hello. So this particular boat is bound from Egypt and it's filled with wheat bound from Rome. Can you show us where the wheat is in the ship? Nice. Got some wheat there. One of the passengers is someone you might be familiar with. His name is Paul. It's Paul. We'll call him, we've called him Saul before, but he goes by the name Paul now. And so um, I'm glad to have Paul here. How are you doing today, Paul? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. How, how do you like boats? You know, occasionally, you know, back and forth, you know. Yeah. You know, I just like them, you know. You so, like them? Yeah, it's a do, hobby. Do you feel safe on boats? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Do you know that we can trust God all the time? Yeah. Awesome. Well, we'll find out more about this. This story comes from the Bible. What I didn't mention is that Saul, or Paul, was a prisoner in Rome to have his case heard by Caesar. So he's on a trip. Paul was arrested by Jews in Jerusalem for teaching about Jesus. He'd been in prison for a long time waiting for his case to be heard in court. So you're waiting and waiting. It's really hard, isn't it? Yeah. Finally, he appealed his case to Caesar. That meant he had to travel all the way from Rome across the sea. Ooh, that's a big trip from Rome across <sighs> the street. Really far. Sea. Here was the problem. It was only safe to cross the sea during certain seasons. I wonder what seasons those would be. Would it be winter? Nah, nah that's dangerous. Would it be spring? Well, maybe, maybe yeah, yeah, possibly yeah, yeah. summer. Yeah. yeah, summer would be awesome. Yeah. But you know what? In this time, the captain decided to go in winter. Oh. And Paul talked to the captain and was like, no, no, wait a minute, please stop. This is not a good idea. This is not a wise choice. You know why? Because there's storms and storms are dangerous in the winter. But we talked about summer. That'd be a good time. So why don't we, why don't we go in summer? Yeah. He said. So, Paul talked to all of them, but they decided to sail anyway. <laughs> Not a good choice. They weren't at sea very long, long before they got caught in a storm. They got caught in a storm. Oh, so, the waves came. It was raining. Oh. It was oh. raining really bad. And oh. in the storm... And then the waves came, so and the wind came, and Paul was scared, and people were scared, and they refused to eat on the ship, so nobody was eating, and the storm was ferocious. Paul was scared. Everybody was scared. We're going to die. It was time. He was just really scared. We're going to die. Oh, man. Oh, that was horrible. So... 
when the when the ship leaned to the left, Paul had to go to the left. And when it leaned, leaned to the right, Paul had to go to the right. Sometimes the sailors just threw everything overboard. They would just throw things overboard. Sometimes they throw, maybe they brought a ball on the trip. They might just take the ball and throw it overboard because they were scared. They didn't want it to be too heavy. And they didn't want anything to be too dangerous because this is really scary. So, he said, Paul decided to speak to everyone. So he stood up as the, th as the boat was moving. He stood up. And he spoke to everyone and he said, as the rain was coming down, you've been worried that you haven't touched food in almost two weeks. You haven't been worried that you haven't touched food in two weeks? Please eat something now for your own good. Please eat something now for your own good. For everyone will make it off this ship alive. For everyone will make it off this ship alive. The captain gave orders for those who could swim to jump overboard. And he had them eat a little bit before he got in. Why don't you have something to eat there, Paul? He's, this is like powering up because Paul knew that we can trust God all the time. So he is eating and he is sharing his food with the other passengers so that they can eat as well. So, as time came on, it kept raining, but they were near land. <gasps> this is so exciting! They're near land! Ooh, but you know, back then, not so many kids took swim lessons, so not everybody could swim. So, do you know what they had to do? Get as close as they could to the land so people could get in. But, you know, Paul had promised that everyone was going to make it to land. Let's see if they do, okay? So, the captain orders for those who could swim to jump overboard and go to shore. They lowered their anchors and the back at the back of the ship so they would be slowly pulled to land. But the ship got grounded on a sandbar. Oh, oh no. Oh. The captain gave orders so that everyone who could swim would go overboard and swim to shore. Everyone else hung onto one piece of the ship. They hung onto it as it broke apart. And they rode that piece of the ship into shore. They rode it all the way there. Just as Paul had promised, everyone made it to shore safely. Everyone was safe in this scary, scary storm. Two weeks, that's incredible. Paul never doubted that he and everyone else on the ship were in God's hands. God's hands were watching over them. He gave the message of hope and encouragement at just the right time to all the people to get them to eat, to get them to get ready, power up before their big swim. We can trust God all the time. And do you know what? You can trust God too. You can trust God with whatever you're facing, whatever you're going through. Homeschool stress, maybe it's relationships. Maybe you're just thinking, you know, maybe it's a little bit hard for something and you're struggling with that, whatever that something something is. And do you know what? We can trust God all the time. You can trust God in those something somethings. So let's ask, answer some questions. How do you react when a big storm comes? What scares you the most? I'm gonna ask our character here, Saul. Okay. Hmm. Probably the lightning. Yeah. yeah. How about, describe what helps you feel better during a big storm. You know, like not seeing the lightning and the thunder is like, pfft, and you're just like, ah. and so what I like to do is like listen to music or something like that, or do something fun. And so yeah, 
Let's pray. Okay, so that's a good idea to pray because pray can be a huge comfort to us. So in scary situations, how can we trust in God all the time? What do you think? Well, I don't know. Yeah. You know, you kind of just do. You yeah. just do trust God all the time because yeah. it's so deep in your heart and you just have the comfort of God in your heart, huh? Yeah. It's really important. Well, yeah. one of the cool things we're going to do today as part of our craft is we're going to do make a hope box and there are scriptures that talk about the hope that comforts us in difficult times and those are going to be inside of the hope box. So you can color those up, you can have your parents read you the story or the scriptures or um, you can have somebody else read to you and uh, or you can read yourself i'm sorry so um however that works so let's go ahead and um paul i like your idea of praying so let's go ahead and close in prayer and thank god that we have hope and that we have comfort in the lord yeah dear lord jesus we thank you for bringing us together we have hope in you you are trustable and you are good thank you for protecting saul lord thank you for protecting us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you all.